Hi there, I'm Kelly Dean from the Tummy Team and we're going to give you a little information on prolapse. There's a lot of um, confusion and it's kind of a hard question to ask people about because it's pretty personal. We're going to talk specifically about pelvic prolapse, um, things related to your pelvic floor and as you may know, your pelvic floor is a basket-like group of muscles that support your organs and it's basically the floor of your core. The tummy team works on the corset. The floor of your core, core is your pelvic floor and that helps support all of the pelvic organs. So your bladder, in women, your uterus, and in um, and your intestinal tract, your rectum. So prolapse is basically in in women, if you think about your vaginal canal being here, the top is where your cervix is and up here is your uterus and then you have bladder on this side and rectum on this side. So a prolapse is any time there's any kind of pressure or bulging in the walls of this vaginal canal. So it could, in for like a cervical prolapse would be like your uterus kind of dropping down and, and shortening up that vaginal canal or putting pressure down this way. Or you can have a rectocele where it's coming from the rectum side and there's like a weakness in this part of your, your vaginal canal where there's a bulging in. Sometimes you only feel it during bowel movements or constipation. Or you have on this side a cystocele, which is a, a weakening of the wall on this side that supports the bladder, where the bladder kind of falls in. And that can um, also create internal pressure and it can be related to bladder incontinence issues as well. So any kind of heaviness, pressure, or structural um, weakness can cause what we call a prolapse. And and if you think about that basket of muscles, it's not just one hammock muscle, which is often what the pelvic floor is referred to as a hammock. It's actually a group of muscles that come in from multiple directions that support the structures in your lower abdominal area and your pelvic area. And um, why this is important is sometimes you have some trauma to the muscles. These are muscles. We don't think about our vaginal canal as a group of muscles, but it basically is. And these muscles sometimes can have some trauma to them. Um, a lot of times it's with childbirth. As you can imagine, with um, a baby going through the birth canal, sometimes it doesn't come out like a cylinder. You know, there's a lot of bumps and curves that can cause some trauma to more to one side of the, the vaginal canal more than the other side. And if that's not um, rectified or, or corrected, then our body starts to compensate for that muscle imbalance. And then one side gets tighter and maybe one side gets weaker. And then we have these structural deficits. Um, the other things that sometimes can happen is other kinds of trauma, like even car accidents or falls or, or injuries where there's some kind of asymmetrical um, impact on your body where one side of the muscles internally um, become tighter or weaker than the other side and then that imbalance can cause some what we call prolapse anytime an organ is pushing out or pushing forward from where it's actually supposed to live. So it's important to understand what's going on and it's it is an injury. It is um, it is not normal, even though it's really common and you can understand why it might happen. The whole goal is to try to balance out those internal muscles and to um, increase strength where there's weakness and release compensation and help things to be balanced and even on the right, left, front, back and all those interwoven places. We do a lot of work with people with core issues and pelvic floor issues that um, can really help with prolapse. It's not a quick fix. It's a systematic approach to starting to be aware and to um, figure out what's going on and how to balance out those muscles. So I hope that gives you a better understanding of what pelvic prolapse is and um, hopefully gives you a little bit of hope that there are ways to fix it. It's um, like I said, it's not a quick fix, but it is possible and it's important. So hopefully that gives you some better information. There's more information at thetummyteam.com. Thanks so much.